Welcome guys, welcome back to a new video, a new year in fact, 2020, oh I cannot wait to get this year started. In this video we're going to be installing the engine into the frame, so smash that like button, subscribe to the channel and enjoy the video. So if you are not up to date with this build, you know we spent ages making the engine clean as possible. Also with the frame, that's now all powder coated and it is literally just a case of getting it put back in. We've had all the brackets and everything done powder coated as well, so everything should be looking brand new. We've got new nuts and bolts, these are the old ones, so again everything is going to look sweet. It is literally just a case of getting it put in. Now, if you're like me, you do this for a hobby, for a bit of fun. You don't have all the expensive equipment that garages and professional motorcycle builders may have, like lifts, ramps, uh, engine cranes, all that sort of thing. Um, and you do want to do it by yourself. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I, a 50 kilogram human being, is lifting that 100 plus kilogram engine into that bike. Now, it's very much a reverse of how we got the engine out. Putting the bike on its side and lifting the frame off, that is the easiest way to do it by yourself. It's a little bit more tricky putting it on though. When we took the engine out, the frame was disgusting, it was rusty a mess. It didn't matter if I knocked it, scraped it, anything like that. But now we've powder coated, that is the last thing we want to do, is get any scratches on this nice powder coated frame. So before we can even think about getting this engine put in, we need to get this frame protected and ready for the install of this engine. These little bad boys right here, this is what we're going to be using to uh, protect the frame. Good old fashioned inner tube for a push bike. So it's pretty simple, you get yourself some inner tube, chop it up, uh, wrap it around the frame, tape a few bits here and there, and there you're good to go. So follow along and let's get this frame prepared for the engine. So that's the frame done, inner tubed all up, wrapped around, it doesn't have to be pretty, it, it just has to take any knocks and scrapes as we slip it back over the engine. Yeah, it's probably cost me six, seven quid to do that, but, but it's money well spent because you don't want to take it back to the powder coaters if you knock it and scrape it trying to get it on. So it's worth spending that little bit of money to guarantee you're not going to damage the frame. So now that's the frame done, let's get the engine prepared.
that is it. The engine and frame, they are now one. That was, was difficult, I'm not gonna lie. It's really heavy engine to work with and if you don't get it lined up just right, it can cause all sorts of problems. One mistake I did make was I didn't clean off the faces where the engine and the frame sit together. They need to be pretty much bare metal because the tolerance is so tight. Um, any powder coat will make it really tight, a bit too tight. But just take that into consideration when you come to do it. I am super glad that this part is over. It just means we can blaze the trail and get this bike finished. There is still a lot to do, there's still lots to go on, but it is a key step in the build. Anyway guys, that's all we've got time for this episode. Thank you to my Patreons as always. Be sure to subscribe, check my other videos out, and I shall see you in the next video.